good Sunday morning. So, I have, it's Christmas City Girl Homestead. I have decided that I'm going to make something sweet this morning for breakfast. So, what I am making is um, caramel pecan cinnamon rolls. And so, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do it because I don't want to use his roll recipe. I'd rather use mine, and then, but I liked his recipe for the sticky. So let's hope this works out, and I've got three different stations set up so we can put everything together. All right, so the first thing we need to do, let's bring you down here. We're going to put medium heat on, and we're going to put six tablespoons of butter. We're going to do a cup and a quarter of brown sugar, packed. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we need three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I don't usually buy this big of a container of it because I don't use it very often. But it was like 20 cents difference. I'm like, well, I'll figure out something to use with it. So we're going to let this get melted down and we're going to get it all mixed together. Once I get it melted down, I'll bring you back. But what we want it to get it to is just a bubble. We don't want it to boil because then our sugars and stuff will, um, it'll burn and we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to get this melted down and then I'll be right back. All right, so you notice how it's just doing a bubble? <laughs> You want to let that do that just for a minute. Okay, let me bring it down to the bubble. It's basically where there's just little bubbles on top. And what you're doing now is you're getting it just where the sugar is going to melt up good. You don't want it to harden, to harden up. You want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to keep stirring the heat out of it. For just a few minutes and then I'll be back and I'm gonna use my roll recipe that I use for bread and buns and my rolls and I used them for cinnamon rolls before that's what I'm gonna use again for my cinnamon rolls because I happen to love that recipe so I will be back let me get everything set up for the bread and I'll be right back all right so the next thing we're gonna do is start our bread I've got a cup of warm water in here. We've got a third cup of oil, a quarter cup of sugar, and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of yeast. Now we're just going to make sure that this proofs, so I'm going to mix everything together and we're going to let it set for five minutes. And then I'll be back for the next step. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a tablespoon of butter, a half teaspoon of salt. Let me get it open, that'd be great. I'm trying to use up what I got in the bag real quick. All right. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I always start out with three cups of flour because that's what I've noticed with this one unless it's really funky in the weather, it tends to take three cups of flour. There's one. I just refilled my flour so. <laughs> You. Jack's amazed at how fast we go through flour and I go, if you cook and you bake, you go through it. <laughs> All right, so there's three cups. So now what I'm going to do is pull this back up. And then I heard that on kneading dough, you should never go above two. So I'm going to get that mixed together until it gets completely mixed and then I'll bring you right back. All right, so now the dough is kneading, and I'm going to let it knead for five minutes. 
So what we're going to do is take that sauce and we're going to pour it into the pan here. You guys, if you could smell this sauce, it smells amazing, doesn't it, Tom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it should be a put-on ice cream. Oh, yeah. He was like, put it on ice cream. And I'm like, no. All right, so we're going to spread that out. This is a 9 by 13 pan, and that's what you want to use is 9 by 13. We'll try to get it in every corner. There's going to be 12 cinnamon rolls. I think there will be. <laughs> Not if Jack comes and hijacks it while we're gone. Oh, no. Jackie hijacks it. I'll change the code. All right. Now, his was a little bit thinner, but I'm sure we can work with it. Then you're going to take a couple pecans. And you're going to put it all over the top of that. Now, like he said, make sure that your your sauce is actually cooled down enough that you don't make your pan explode because I can tell you that heat temperatures like that can work because I ruined my one pan this year, remember? <laughs> All right, so as soon as that finishes kneading, I'll be over there and we'll get that rolled out. All right, so we've got the dough done. Now you're going to just get it put into your bowl or... You're going to make it into a square either way. So I'm going to get that. Tom says he's going to work with this a little bit too. <laughs> That's going to be funny. All right. So what we want to do is we want to get it to go into a square. So let it's me get this. square. Yeah. Tom's got jokes this morning. I'm going to spill around my finger to be a pizza. Right? We don't want it to be a pizza. Oh, okay. We want it to be a square. And we're going to get it to be a big piece. So we're going to be back because I'm going to let Tom play with it. All right. I think he did pretty good. It's not quite a square, but it'll be all right. So now you're going to put... I'm just going to do this with my hands, too. Oh, no, I, know <laughs> I left it out all night last night too, didn't I? Yep. So you want to go all the way down till about an inch from the bottom because you want something to seal to that. So you're going to spread all that butter. You can also <laughs> melt the butter and then, you know, you can put it on with a uh, with a paintbrush, pastry brush, whatever you want to call it. We get all the way to the edges. Pastry brush. Can you bring me a towel, please? Oh. There, that looks better. <coughs> Glad you're not sneezing all over everything, Tom. I covered my mouth. <laughs> all right. So now we have the butter on there. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so the next thing we need to do is make sure that everything is covered with brown sugar. Do you want to do that part? Oh, I could probably do that. We'll dig some in there. You want to go up to this inch mark right here. You want to make sure the whole thing's covered with brown sugar. And that's too thick. You want to thin it out. Long, long they don't have to touch the butter on that. You know? <laughs> Tom really hates touching his food. You want to go all the way to the edges? Need forks for it. Yeah, yeah. That should be enough right there. You got a little bit down here, I think. No, this is to pinch it together. Oh, I see. 
right, so there we have. You can put that away, Tom. He's too funny. All right. Now we're going to take our cinnamon and we're going to sprinkle it over top of that. Alrighty. Now, the next thing is the fun thing. So, you want to start here at the edge, and you want to keep it rolled nice and tight. You want to do that end? Sure. Okay. Keep it tight. So, if you have to, tuck underneath to keep it rolled nice and tight. How come mine's fatter than yours? Because you're not rolling it as tight. <laughs> I'll just have a fat roll, it's no big deal. Oh no, you'll have a roll that falls apart. No, I don't want that. <laughs> so keep tucking up underneath. So you're lifting and tucking. All right, pull it up this way a little bit. Well, yours is a lot. You're not tucking as much. We'll teach them. Nah. All right. So now what you want to do with this, this last bit, you want to pinch it together like this. And then I'm going to push these ends in like this. You want to grab that pan over there? Now what you want to do is you want to chop it in half and some people use dental floss and if you want to do that that's fine I don't care and then half again and then the goal is is to get three cinnamon rolls per quarter Now I'm going to show you something that you want to make sure that they're together nice and you stick them in there. And if any of them come apart, like this one could, I just want to show you. You pull it up and over and that way it stays together. Okay, go ahead, Tom. You want three wide and four deep. Kind of make sure it's together. Tom's excited. Wait till he has to clean this mess up. <laughs> oh, that's your job. Nope. I did guard. <laughs> Hold on. Nope. You got to do three wide. All right. So now you want to cover it with a tea towel. And you're going to let them rise for five minutes. Or, you know, see, make sure it's risen enough for your... your your likability, how's that? And then we'll be back. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes actually. How do those look? Nice and raised. So now we're going to put them in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes and let them get cooked to a nice golden brown on top. And then we'll be back and see how they turn out. Keep your fingers crossed. Alrighty, so how does those look? Amazing, right? <laughs> now we're going to take and coat butter over the top of every single one of them. Yeah, if you notice, I'm not using my hands for that one. <laughs> it's warm. And it's very warm. I can feel the steak from here. <laughs> So we're going to coat them each in butter. I 
guess I have to use that second one. I had left door. Look at this. Those are going to be nice and buttery. Look at that. What do you think, Tom? What do you think, Jack? I think it's good. Yummy. <laughs> it smelled good. I asked Tom how many you wanted. What would you say, Tom? Huh? How many did you say you wanted? Three. <laughs> All right, now this is going to be the test here. I might have to have Tom do this. I don't know. All right, so you're going to grab a hold of it, and you're going to flip it over. All right, so now I need, no, nope, it's hot, honey, it's hot. No, nope, we're going to just lift this off there. Oh, and I did the same thing he did, and I dropped it. Holy goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I am, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I can feel the calories. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. The calories are melting in me. Oh my goodness, doesn't it look amazing? I'm not going to put water in that until All right. it cools down. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get these scooped up on a plate and we will, oh my gosh. I just want to eat at this very second. Oh, they look so beautiful. Alright, let me plate these up and we'll be back. And so, cut nice and easy. There's and Tom's. Cut a fork piece, too. They got three each of them. Hmm. What do you think? I think these are better than the ones at the Big Boy. <laughs> I just get the ones at Big Boy all the time. Hmm. Heavenly? More than heavenly. <laughs> Alright, Jack. Oh, that's spectacular. Heavenly? Yeah. <laughs> Think you can eat all three? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. There you go. Me and Tom are headed up north after this to go do graves, and then we'll be back for a um, garden update. There won't be a dinner video because we're going to have Main Street Pizza today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always get Main Street Pizza when we go up north. So maybe we'll video from the, the lake. There you go. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Be a blessing. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. Have a good day, guys.